This is not a square number, but if we remove one of these factorials, then it will be a square number. So which one should we remove? Let's find out. First, I'm going to pair up the factorials like this. Then I'm going to rewrite the larger of the two factorials as the smaller factorial times whatever's needed. For example, I can rewrite 100 factorial as 99 factorial times 100. Now, the reason why we did that is because we have square numbers now. We have 1 factorial squared, 3 factorial squared, and so forth. And we also have the even numbers from 2 to 100. So we can rewrite this problem like this. Now, let's take a look at these multiples of 2. We have 50 of them. So let's factor out a 2 from each of these numbers. Now, over here, all of the factors are square numbers, so the product will be a square number, which can be rewritten like this. Now, what's remaining is 1 times 2 times 3 all the way to 50, which is the same thing as 50 factorial. So if we remove 50 factorial from this number, we will have a square number.